This video is for everybody that does traditional art. Now adding layers in traditional art seems impossible, but I'm going to make this video explaining how to add layers in Microsoft Word, a, a program that everybody has on the computer if they have a Windows computer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click insert up here, then go to pictures. Now I'm going to go into my pictures, and this is the background I drew that I will be using right here. Now we have our picture. Then you want to then you want to right click it, go to wrap text, through. Now click insert again, pictures, and find the picture that you're going to use. I'm going to use the C. Again, same thing, put it into through text, and that allows you to move it around. Now what you're going to want to do is go into the format tag, remove background. Now if it's going to remove anything you don't want it to remove, you can just zoom in, it'll load again, and click the Mark Areas to Keep tool, make a line, and now that area is being kept. Now that you have all your areas that you want to be kept, marked as to keep, you might have some areas like that, like that, or like that, you definitely don't want. So for this, you just want to click mark areas to remove, click that area, and it gets rid of it. When you're done, just click keep changes and it removes the background for you. If you see some access right there, it's totally fine because when you zoom back out to 100%, you can't even see them, especially since the dragon is going to have to be a lot smaller. Now, if you want your dragon to be facing a different way, you can simply go into rotate and flip horizontal, which uh, Microsoft kind of got wrong because that's that's a vertical flip. But anyways, now so you can have it rendered out as a picture or saved as a picture, you're going to want to add a text box. I will sign it with my name. And as always, your font can be changed. Anything you want, I will use Comic Sans MS. It worked this time, which is good. Just format it, remove the fill, remove the outline, put it in the bottom corner of your picture, and go into select, select objects, and group, go into layout, group, now click it, it doesn't say save as picture, just click cut. Paste it. Now it's a save as picture. Click that. And name your picture. I'll just name this as C on Cliff. 
Quick save. Now your image has been saved. Now when you go into your files, find it, click at it, and crop all that excess off. Again, MS Paint is something that all computers have too. Then, save. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. That's all I have for this video. Bye.